Hello and welcome back to some more Bitburners. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to create a script that can automatically create and manage your divisions. And we use that script to uh, create our second division here called Robotico. And um, I guess after two weeks of just leaving the script running, uh, you can see that the um, this division is now generating quite a lot of profits without too much of our intervention, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think I've already done almost everything um, that I needed to do for corporations. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, so um, I guess in the next few videos, I'm going to be concentrating on trying to improve, uh, I guess, the launch fleet script, uh, which is something that a lot of the viewers um, have uh, commented and requested for. Just to give a demo on how it works, um, so at the moment I'm currently running the launch fleet script on the home server. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop that. And then um, as, uh, one of the viewers um, also inspired me to create a, a script called kill network scripts that basically kills every single one of the uh, all the active scripts within your network without having to click through this uh, kill all running scripts because this is very time consuming. Uh, so I, I actually want to go through that um, this script first before going through the the new launch fleets, mainly because um, this is something that you probably have to do before you can actually use the give me more money script. Um, so let's just run the uh, kill network scripts. And what that one does is that it's going to go through every single one of your network nodes and then kill all active scripts. So um, as you can see, it's only the home server that's running. So um, our home server remains undisturbed. Um, and then uh, if we use the new launch fleets, so I called it the gimme more money script. And we, we can see here that it basically behaves like launch fleets. Uh, but there's a few um, tweaks that I made and bug fixes that I made that makes it possible to, um, I guess, run more threads on the servers and also um, utilize some of our home RAM. So uh, after, um, I guess, this runs, then I'm going to show you guys how to run the Give Me More Money script so that you can allocate a portion of your home server to, um, to this script here. Alright, so as you can see here, it's slowly filling up with threads and it's slowly assigning the, um, the, the pirates to attack different servers. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to restart that and I'm going to show you guys how to also um, use the script to allocate some of the memory on the home server. Um, I know that that is a feature that's been requested quite a bit from the YouTube comments, so uh, I went ahead and implemented that. So I'm going to kill every single one of the uh, active scripts on our network. There you go. Uh, and then uh, basically how you assign um, home home memory is, um, is like this. So you just run the script like that. And then you just pass in home RAM and then some sort of uh, percentage. So this the percentage is a number between 0 and 1. So 0 0.9 means I want to allocate 90% of my home memory to the active scripts. What this one will do is that it's going to launch the, the attacks on uh, your network server, but also ensure that at least 90% of your home server is utilized. Uh, if there's space, then it's going to be assigning some of the pirate scripts to um, launch an attack to a server or something like that. Um, so yeah, so that's about it. So that's the, the give me more money script. Um, but uh, as I mentioned before, that's not what we're going to be covering in today's video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be covering the utility script, which is the kill network scripts. And then in the next few videos, I'm going to be breaking down the give me more money scripts in its own separate sections so that you guys can use my videos as reference in the future. Let's open up the um, the kill network scripts here. Uh, basically what the script does is that it goes through every single one of your uh, network nodes and also your purchase servers and then just runs the kill all script. Um, so if we go down here uh, to the main logic, uh, I create an array of network nodes. This is going to store all the, uh, I guess, server names that we need to kill our scripts on. 
uh, the first thing I do is I grab all the crackable network nodes. So if we go into this function here, retrieving network nodes. So we, I already covered this in the first Bitburner video. Um, but basically this uh, script here uses def first search to traverse through our, uh, I guess the network and then just returns a list of everything uh, within the, the, the network of this game. Uh, again, I'm not gonna go through the in-depth specifics of the depth first search because you, uh, by now you probably should have Googled that or at least watched some, a few YouTube videos about it. But um, basically that's what it does. So it just retrieves all the, the nodes within your network. And then scrolling down here, what we do after retrieving all the network nodes, um, we then filter out everything that we can penetrate and um, we exclude the ones that's the home server and also the purchase server and the reason for this is because um, we want to handle these two cases separately um, and then for the can penetrate what it does is that it grabs all the cracking scripts that exist within our server so like this so object keys cracks so cracks is just this dictionary here um, and then filters out every single file, cracking file that exists within our server. So this just basically just returns the number of cracking scripts that we have within our home server. Uh, so after retrieving all the cracking scripts that we have in our home server, we then grab the number of required ports that we need to open for that server. And then if we have more cracking scripts than the required ports, then that's when we uh, return true. So that that's symbolizes that we can penetrate a server. Um, so basically what this hackable servers returns is um, a list of all the servers that you can uh, penetrate. So you can uh, open ports um, and uh, gain root access. And then we just return that at the end. Um, and then uh, moving on to the next line of the logic, uh, we then grab our own servers. So basically we just go through every single one of our servers and then uh, go through them in a single loop. And then while the server exists, uh, so the by checking the name, um, then we just push that purchase server. So it's gonna um, push uh, pserve0, pserve1, pserve, basically all our owned servers. Uh, and then after retrieving all the, uh, I guess, crackable network servers uh, and also the all the owned servers, uh, if you pass in the flag called include home, uh, it'll also push the home server in the list of nodes. And then what that one will do is that it's gonna iterate through every single one of the network nodes and then kill everything. And yeah, so that's, that's about it. Basically, that's uh, a lot more efficient than uh, going through this UI here and then killing all the running scripts from here. So I guess in, in uh, the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys a breakdown of the Gimme More Money script. As you can see, this is a very, very big um, script, mainly because I put all the logic in one place uh, just to avoid those um, the import errors that everyone seems to be getting. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that this is going to be broken down into multiple chunks, uh, but I'm going to be covering that in the next video. Um, all right, so on to the YouTube comments. Um, all right, so um, let's have a look at some of them. Um, like, I, like I mentioned in a few videos, I'm going to be only mentioning a few of them so that um, it, the, the YouTube comments doesn't take way too long. Uh, but let's uh, first cover Andrew Jackson's comment asking why am I getting this and then some error about uh, some sort of uh, invalid relative URL. Uh, whenever you see uh, an error like this, invalid, uh, invalid relative URL or base scheme isn't hierarchical or whatever that is, uh, basically what this means is that you don't have it in your home server. So um, you probably just have to import that somewhere um, or you probably mistyped it um, in your scripts. So make sure that you, um, you know, re make sure that the, the scripts are named correctly and also the import, um, import paths are correct as well. Um, all right, so the few comments by Bill Schultz. Um, so <laughs> I guess he gave me some feedback um, saying that the uh, the videos are very hard to follow, uh, which I 
sort of um, didn't realize until uh, I guess I until he mentioned it. Um, it's really good to receive these types of feedbacks because um, it allows me to improve, uh, I guess, my process and um, I guess the, the way that I present these videos. Uh, but basically, he mentioned that um, instead of describing the main logic um, and then showing the functions slash routines uh, at the end, I should just go through uh, the main logic and then as I'm going through the main logic, then I'm gonna jump to the main function. Uh, which is a fair enough point. Um, Alright, so I guess the last comment I want to cover is um, a comment by Andrew Ziegler. I hope I pronounced your name right. Um, and he said, I realized I never shared my other suggestions, which is you might consider having a default for the uh, Corp Division Manager. Um, I think it could get, get frustrating to type everything out when creating the corporation for the first time again, like agriculture, food, uh, division D1, D2, um, and uh, the, the minimum employee of three and X percent of total corp funds for production budget. Um, so I did consider this when I was creating the corporation division manager because uh, some of the names there are just um, pretty long so it would be nice to type in A or B um, but the reason why I went against it is because I questioned how intuitive the usage of the script is. Um, I think I already mentioned this to you in the, the comments but I think it's uh, an important point to um, mention to um, my videos. Uh, but if you guys think that it might be useful to have some sort of alias, uh, if anyone else have, uh, I guess, an opinion on that, then I think um, just leave it down in the comment below um, and then I'll see what I can do. Alright, so that's that's all the YouTube comments I'm going to look into uh, for today. Um, uh, in the next video, I'm going to be covering the Give Me More Money script. And then uh, the Give Me More Money script videos are going to be, uh, I guess, a multi-part series mainly because of how big and uh, complicated it is. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.